In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some awesome bad shapes in Illustrator CC. So I've jumped onto Pinterest right now and I'm going to find some interesting labels. So what you want to type is you want to type in vintage badge label or retro badge or vintage packaging. Things like that will help you find some interesting, interesting shapes. So like even like these ones here, you can see there's a lot of interesting shapes here. So I can copy that image and paste it in as you can see there. I've also already got a few images as well that I found. But if you like click on some of the images, you should get um, other images pop up as well. Like even this one's kind of cool. Copy, paste. And I think this, this is plenty. So I'm just going to get rid of my eyeballs and let's start to create some of these shapes. So the first one, when, when it comes to shapes, we can use the pen tool. But if you want to make it more symmetrical, you want to use the shape tool. So on my left hand side, I can right click on my rec, uh, ellipse tool or my rectangle tool, whatever is showing there. I can right click and you can see you've got my multiple tools. I've got polygon, ellipse and rectangle, right? So we're going to grab our rectangle shape on the left hand side. I'm going to scale it up. I'm also going to rotate it by putting my mouse on the corner, holding shift and rotating it. So what we want to do is you want to scale it from the side. So if I hold alt and scale it, you can see it increases the size. But what I wanted to do is only increase the left and right side, right? So a way around this is you have to go to object of the top left corner, go down to shape and click expand shape. Once you do that, you can go to object, transform and click reset bounding box. So now you can see the bounding box is uh, a square around it because before it, when we went, wasn't rotated, it was like opposite, but now we flipped it. And then now I can drag the side left or right either side and hold alt or option if you're on a Mac and scale this out. We always want to make sure our shapes are symmetrical. So that's why we don't like do the pen tool and do it like this because we could be off um, by a couple, you know, millimeters or whatever. So now we have that shape and we can use it as we want. We can change the color and do whatever we want with it. So that's one shape. Let's try and do another shape here. So once again, I will go for the rectangle tool. You can also use the ellipse tool. Probably that might be a good one, but the rectangle is probably better for this one. So I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to move these. And drag this, make it a bit taller. I'm going to round it off. So you can see if I if I press A for this selection tool, select, click on the shape. You'll see these little white circles on the corners. This is default in Illustrator where you can round off the corners. So I'm just going to round it, not too much, but to a point where it's like nice. And then what I can actually do is press P for the pen tool and I can actually bul bulge this like this. Another way is that I can go object envelope distort make with warp I'm gonna select bulge and you can see I can bulge it internally or outside like that so I can do like 10% press ok and then I'm gonna scale it down like this and I'm gonna go object and then we want to expand the shape so once you expand it you press ok and we have that shape now in order for us to get these other little sides I can duplicate this shape so control C control F scale it down holding alt as well to scale this down and then I can scale it like this get fatter and then what I can do is go to my pathfinder tool and plus this shape together so now we have this one shape like this looking cool so that's how we create that shape and then if you want to do like these little screws in you know, I can just do a circle for the ellipse tool and like add that in the form cool awesome let's go for this one as well now so once again, I could use a, an ellipse tool. So I'll use the ellipse tool, scale this to get that circle. I'll select the bottom of the circle and press delete on the anchor point. So now I've got this shape. So what we need to do, instead of like scaling this and dragging this down because we lose that roundedness, I'm gonna control Z, I'm gonna make a rectangle box. So go back to my rectangle tool. I'm gonna drag this out. Make sure my smart guides are on so it snaps into place like this and then what I'm going to do I'm going to drag it a little bit uh, one pixel up select these and then go to my pathfinder and click the unite button again to unite all those and you can see if there's like a little thing there I'm just going to drag that in just because it made a little mistake there 
So now we have this shape and we're good to go. We can use it. I can you know, duplicate it and have this inner shape as well. So really, really awesome. So that's just some ways how we can create some bad shapes. There's a couple more as well. So you can see for a circle, I can just make a circle. For this one, I can make a rectangle. Press the pen tool and then I can just drag this down like this holding shift. So that makes that shape. This is just a circle and then a rectangle. I'm holding Alt and Shift to make it all aligned there like that. This one is similar to the other one. And then this one is a rectangle. And then I'm just round this top bit like that, like this. So in just a few minutes, you can create so many nice shapes. You can use it for logos or, you know, different types of projects. But we can have all these cool retro shapes. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you like this. Remember to subscribe for more content every week and hit the like button. It really helps me out. Thanks guys for watching. I'll chat to you soon.